Let's get started! Rationalization of GOCCs and Privatization And here are some features which is related to the GOCCs. And now let's move on to the next slide. Key terms Government-owned and controlled corporation or GOCC is a state-owned enterprise that conducts both commercial and non-commercial activity. Rationalization The action of making a company, process, or industry more efficient, especially by dispensing a superfluous personal or equipment. Privatization The transfer of a business Those are the most important terms that we will encounter on this topic. The GCG, the Governance Commission for GOCCs or GCG created under Republic Act No. 10149 or RA No. 10149, otherwise known as the GOCCs Governance Act of 2011. Sinasabi po na ginawa itong Republic Act na ito dahil ito yung susundin na batas ng mga government-owned and controlled corporation dito sa ating bansa. The GCG Privacy Policy The Governance Commission for GOCCs or GCG treats your data privacy seriously. Our privacy policy explains who we are, how we collect and use personal information, and our security measure. Meaning to say, this has a meaningful role to collect and process information with also taking considerations of the laws and regulations presented in data privacy. They are fully committed on doing the job since they do respect the rights of each stakeholder or data subjects. They assure that all the given information are protected as confidential for the sake of the client's privacy. Also, the information that they have collected must be relevant and necessary enough for whatever its purpose and where it was used. Toward this end, it empowered the Governance Commission to First, oversee the selection and nomination of director or trustees and maintain the quality of board governance. Second, institutionalize transparency, accountability, financial viability, and responsiveness in corporate performance by monitoring and evaluating GOCC's performances. Third, Rationalize the sector through streamlining, reorganization, merger, as well as recommending to the President of the Philippines the privatization or abolition of GOCCs. And last, establish compensation standard to ensure reasonable and competitive remuneration schemes that attract and retain the right talent. So, sinasabi na sa layuning ito, binigyan ng kapangyarihan ng Governance Commission na pangasiwaan ng pagpili ng nominasyon ng mga director or trustees. Ina-analyze nilang mabuti kung makakabuti ba at mapapagkatiwalaan ba yung director or trustees na kanilang inanominate. Dahil sa kanilang pagpili, doon nakasalali yung kapakanan ng buong company. Kung kaya, ang kinakailangang piliin is yung alam nilang mapapagkatiwalaan at mapapanatili yung kalidad ng kanilang institusyon. The government also institutionalized transparency, accountability, financial viability, and responsiveness of corporate performance na kung saan gumagamit sila ng mga pagsusuri at pagsubaybay sa performance ng government-owned and controlled corporation. And sa pamamagitan ng pagra-rationalize ng isang sektor, with the use of streamlining and reorganization, nirekomenda nila sa President of the Philippines yung privatization or abolition ng isang GOCCs, or Government-Owned and Control Corporation. The GCG Reappointed Members of the Commission Two ex-official member of DOF Secretary and the DVM Secretary Yan naman yung mga taong namamahala sa government-owned and controlled corporation. And these are some features which is related to the word mandate. Where you can see some officials who manage the DOCCs here in our country. Next is about the commission is mandated under RA number 10149 to have the following powers and functions. First, 
with respect to GOCCs as public institution. Second, with respect to GOCCs directors and trustee. Third, with respect to GOCCs officers and employees. Sinasabi naman po dito na ang government commission daw po ay under ng Republic Act number no. 10149 o RA number no. 10149 na kung saan makikita ang kanilang power and function upang mamanage ng maayos ang isang company. Kinakailangan din nila na irespeto yung government-owned and controlled corporation as public institution. Maging yung mga taong namamahala at nagpapatakbo gaya ng director or trustees, officer, and as well as the employees dahil sila yung mga tao na naging dahilan kung paano naging successful ang GOCCs dito sa ating bansa. And para na rin mapanatili yung progress ng economy ng mga GOCCs dito sa ating bansa. And now let's move on to the next slide. And now I will show you the GCG strategy map. Here is the GCG strategy map. As you can see, in the social impact, we have a transparent, economically viable and service-oriented GOCC sector. While in the stakeholder, we have implement a compensation framework that attract and retains the best and the brightest for the GOCC sector. Under this is the rationalize the GOCC sector and promote participatory governance in the GOCC sector through the ICRS. Next one is the internal process wherein we have risk corporate governance to international standards, intensify performance monitoring, enhance competitive naturality, institutionalize the whistleblowing policy. And next one is the organization. Institutionalize strategy management, transform GCG officers into leading corporate governance specialists, institutionalize integrated management system formulate and support a strategy based budget and those were written in the red box are under citizen center development while those were written in the blue box is under participatory governance and the gcg uses that strategy map to manage and control their companies diyan nakalagay yung mga strategy na kinakailangan nilang gamitin upang mas mapaunlad ang kanilang company pati na rin ang ekonomiya nito Nakasaad din dyan yung mga implementation on how they rationalize and promote the GOCCs. The Commission Ito ay binubuo ni na Samuel G. Dagpin Jr., Chairman, Marites Cruz Dural, Commissioner, and Michael P. Cloribel, Commissioner. Sila yung bumubuo sa isang GOCC. And the last part is Directory of Key Officials. It includes Office of the Chairman. Under the Office of the Chairman is the Office of the Commissioner A and the Office of the Commissioner B. Under the Office of the Commissioner A is the Corporate Governance Office A and Corporate Governance Office B. And under the Office of the Chairman is the Office of the General Council. And under of the Office of the Commissioner B is the Corporate Standard Office and Administrative Finance Office.